Hi guys, welcome to the third and last part of our um, NAS project with you. Do. Today we are going to do the funny part of it. We already set up uh, our network attached storage. It is working very good and it's serving us uh, at you do pretty good. Uh, we are using to stream our uh, movies through DNA. It makes our daily backups uh, wirelessly. Um, it helps us see the, our torrent images of uh, uh, Udus Ubuntu. So it's a pretty good machine, but this only does its job and nothing more. So since we are Udo and we do like a lot to create uh, um, excitement and exciting stuff, uh, we just want uh, to hack it a little more. Um, using uh, all of uh, you capabilities what we don't have used is uh, the Arduino part of you do which you know is all these uh, pins and uh, we came up uh, with an idea uh, since uh, some time we download uh, uh, torrent images of uh, other open source software and uh, we are always wondering when they finish to download we just thought it would be good to have a visual and um, auditory feedback of uh, a torrent to download the completion. What does it mean? We start to download a torrent and when uh, it finishes our network attached storage will warn us with uh, a visual and um, auditory feedback. Okay, so what we are going to do? We are going to use this little motor to turn uh, this um, this little message here, you can uh, you can see the word Bazinga, yeah, this is what we are talking about. When a torrent will finish to download, we just configure Open Media Vault or our NAS operating system to send via a serial message to Arduino, which will execute a sketch that will make this motor spin and uh, will make. Uh, this LED to turn up. Furthermore, the audio part of you do will deliver a bazinga <laughs> sound through our speaker. So let's start building it. First, we connect our LEDs. We already associated in the sketch um, the LED to the pin 8. So we place uh, the positive into the pin 8 while we place the negative to ground ok we do the same thing with the motor but we should better understand what to connect and what not to connect to you do um, there is a current limitation that um, um, you do can deliver to a device connected directly to it, which is uh, 150 million pairs. So what I did was check if uh, this was uh, this was able to be uh, fed with 3.3 volts, uh, which is the voltage that come out of uh, these pins, and uh, if it uh, drained less than one, uh, 150 million pairs. It came out that it drains. Mm, uh, something like around 30 million pairs so we can be safe so if you want to connect uh, such a device please be sure to check that it doesn't drain more than 150 million pairs then we assign the pin that uh, turns up the motor to the pin 7 we connect so to the pin 7 and then to ground Okay, got it. Then we have the speaker. So this is a nice sensitivity speaker, so we should be able to drive it with uh, the headphone jack of you do. Uh, if uh, you want to obtain the same thing with another kind of speaker, you may need to attach it to an amplifier. You can make it easily with a JFET for the ones uh, of you who are able to build electronic circuits. 
So we place uh, our our speaker to the jack connector. Okay. Also, don't place a speaker too near the hard drive because they can uh, magnetically interfere one with each other. So we place it uh, in a safe distance here. Then what we have to do is upload the Arduino sketch on Udo, configure Open Media Vault to launch a serial signal uh, when a torrent is completed and check if it, this works. Okay, let's see how we can do that. Now we are in the moment where we should set up the software part of our project. We already made the proper wiring and then we should configure you do to make what we want it to do. The first thing is connecting via SSH to Open Media Vault. That implies that um, our network storage is connected to our network and uh, we logged in uh, with our SSH credentials. Um, SSH is uh, enabled by default in uh, the UDO's Open Media Vault. So, first thing is set the proper serial parameters. Um, we do by updating the RC local script, which is a script that automatically starts when our system boots, and we just add this line in our RC local. As you may see, we are just telling it to uh, configure the TTY MXC3 with uh, the correct baud rate, which is the same that we are going to use on our Arduino sketch, plus other parameters which ensures that uh, YMXA has proper privileges to write into serial. Then uh, we save it and uh, bear in mind that for this to be effective uh, we should reboot our system. Then uh, we set up uh, the real script. This script uh, is gonna be enabled uh, in uh, the Open Media Vault uh, administration page, but first uh, we have to create it. So we just go to our root, we create a Bazinga folder. We already done that, so we just enter. And in this folder, we just upload the Bazinga. Uh, wave file, which is the audio file which will be played through our um, loudspeaker, and then uh, the bazinga.sh, which is the actual script. So let's see how we did it. You see the first line as uh, uh, sudo echo one on uh, dev tty mxc3. This means that when the script is launched, one is written on serial. Then we have sudo apply bazinga slash bazinga wave. This means that uh, our bazinga file is played. So, for this uh, script uh, to be executed, uh, we should set it with proper permissions. This ensures that our script uh, can be executed. Okay, then another thing we have to do is make Open Media Vault able to start this script. Normally, since Open Media Vault doesn't have root privileges, it cannot start our script properly. So we are doing a dirty fix. And we do that by editing the... Um, and we do it by editing the transmission BitTorrent client in its script, like that. So, in order for transmission to be able to start our script, we just change the user, 
which our daemon is assigned to, from open media vault BitTorrent to root. Remember, once again, this is a dirty fix. There are a lot of better ways for doing that, but this is the quickest way, so we are going to show you this. Okay. Now, when transmission start it has the correct privileges to run our script so the first part is done then we now log in into open media vault media administration page we go to the BitTorrent service and just edit service properties at the bottom we find what we are looking for so we just enable Open Media Vault to run a script at torrent completion and just place the path script of our script. So slash bazinga slash bazinga dot sh. When we hit OK, Open Media Vault is configured to launch our script when a torrent is completed and when our script is launched, one is written on serial. What we have to do now is just upload the Arduino sketch that you can find on the project description. And when one is received by the Arduino part, our LED and our motor will start spinning while the bazinga.wave file is played. And this is going to be our auditory feedback done we test it it works we are happy so now let's close and finish our network attached storage Guys, this is the final result, okay? Um, as you know, when the torrent finished downloading, uh, we have a visual feedback, this bazinga badge rotates, and then a um, uh, light go, comes up, and then we got the sound bazinga that yeah, makes the concept more clear. So now we got our torrent downloading, it should be finished in real... Uh, now it is finished and Bazinga. magic happens huh? okay the result may aesthetically not be a masterpiece but you got the concept okay so you can make um, everything you want and make it look like you want and have something really really functional recycling all the objects thanks to you do and all its amazing capabilities that's it